Jinx police. Oh, sh Funny story involving those guys. <laughs> involving the Jinx police. Jinx police. Uh, some of you might remember we had a megaphone. Me and a couple of my friends bought a megaphone. And uh, it was right here actually on Main, a little bit down that way. And uh, we had. There's, I have a video up on my channel of us messing around with this megaphone, but we were having a blast just. We were yelling at people out of the car with the megaphone, you know, hey, what are you doing? I don't know. Just yelling random crap out of the car. And, uh, well, we were, we're here in Jinx on, on Main Street right here at night. It was probably like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. It was four or five of us. And, uh, the, the megaphone had like a, like a siren on it. Like you push the button and it goes, whee! <laughs> So there's these people walking on the side of Main Street, and my friend who's in the back seat had, a, had the megaphone, and so he, he blipped the siren, because the best reactions we got were, you know, rather than just yelling at people, was the siren, because they thought, you know, cops are behind them or whatever. Trying to get their attention, so he just blipped the siren, they like freaked out, they freak out, you know, turn around, like, what the hell? So. So he blips the siren, not seeing that there's a cop passing us, you know, like say we're going this way, the cop was coming this way on the other side of the road. We get pulled over, they give us all kinds of crap, you know. Call my parents, I was the only one under 18. So I got crap from my parents and uh... They're just giving us a bunch of crap. They're douchebags about it. I'm, I mean, yeah, we we're doing something wrong, but they were still like mega douchebags about it. And uh, so, but they ended up letting us go without a ticket. But they took our megaphone. So to this day, we're megaphoneless. <laughs> Funny story though. There's a lady cop and a guy cop. The lady cop is sitting there talking to us. He goes, "Your car's running. Looks like it's running hot. Have you been speeding? You been speeding around?" I was like, I just wanted to be like, "Seriously, lady, do you know how the radiator works?" <laughs> like my bike when I'm on a, when I'm zipping around town and stuff, going low speeds, 20, 25, 30 miles an hour. In the summer especially, because it starts getting really hot, you know, 220, the radiator fan comes on, but when I'm on the highway, it stays like about 180. I mean, it's like, like seriously? <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's stupid. But it, may, it makes for a good story, so... <laughs> There it is. All right, this is uh, this is Riverside that we're getting into. You guys gonna pull me over or something, probably. So this is a uh, it's a nice place. It's just cool. They got some uh, some restaurants. Just they got a little cave here you can walk through and play around in. They got a movie theater. The security guard, cop, whatever he is, still following me. All right, I'm gonna park and act like I'm going up here to check movie times because this douchebag cop keeps following me. What? <sighs> why are sport bikes such a? Okay, that's a stupid question. I was gonna say why are sport bikes such a target for these people, but. I kind of understand. I guess I can. Alright, I got rid of that idiot. He's still like, after I, I walked up there, he still like stopped up here and watched me for like a couple minutes. What the hell he's trying to do? Apparently everybody on a sports bike's a criminal. Who knows, he's probably just trying to see my helmet. <laughs> like the camera or something. That's right. Like I knew, I knew I wouldn't do anything wrong, but I just, I hate 
that they freaking follow you. I hate that. It just pisses me off. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Idiot. Hey, come on. Come over here, follow me again. <laughs> He's on a mission to protect the river walk from riffraff like citizens. Another cop. Never seen one of those. I gotta get out of Jinx. <laughs> I hate Jinx police after the whole megaphone thing and everything. Just nothing but bad experiences with them. Going home. Go, I'm going home.